Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to do something that I haven't done before, and that is to review a mobile game. And the reason why is because we're not talking about any little mobile game here, we're talking about Bloons Tower Defense 6. And if you guys don't know, I played the crap out of Bloons Tower Defense 5. And I played the crap out of Bloom's Tower Defense 4 when I was even younger when that came out. Didn't really personally play the older ones, but I played the crap out of 4 and 5. And so obviously I've been excited for Bloom's Tower Defense 6 since I heard they were working on it. Um, it's kind of been like a joke in my friend group how I always talk about, Oh, is Bloom's Tower Defense 6 out yet? And it is out. And so I decided, eh, whatever, I'll, you know, give it a good old little review here uh, on my channel. Because, you know, although it is a mobile game, um, hopefully at some point it'll come to Steam in the next couple of months like Blue and Star Defense 5 did. Um, but, you know, it's a quality game. Just because it's on mobile doesn't automatically make it the worst game ever. Uh, it is a good, good game. Um, and one thing I want to right off the bat say, because I know a lot of people, especially in like the um, mobile gaming, the people that play a lot of mobile games, uh, one thing they don't like seeing is um, when a game costs money, so Bloom Star Defense 6 costs $5, and then it has in-app purchases. And um, Bloom Star Defense 6 has that, unfortunately. It has what pretty much it was in Bloom Star Defense 5. You have like the monkey cash with the single use powers that you can use and buy and um, I personally think it's cheating so even I, I refuse to use any of them so I mean sometimes you can buy for like seven dollars a random uh, you know upgraded tower that you can just place for free a single time in your um, games and stuff like that uh, there's a lot of cheating in the in-app purchases um so i personally i'm not using any of them i'm not, i'm not even using the like free powers it gives me for completing like a challenge or doing my dailies i'm not doing any of that because i consider it cheating i mean they have like a 19 dollar in-app purchase to double all money you earn in the game like the gold so you can place like pretty much double the towers which that's just the biggest sense of cheating I've ever, I don't know why anyone would do that. Um, you can buy the powers that give you cash drops at the beginning of the game and all of this stuff and it's, it's, it's exhausting. You know, when you're leveling up your towers with XP, if you click a button, it's like, oh, $7 to uh, automatically upgrade this entire monkey path tree, you know. Um, and it does feel like it's begging for money constantly, which doesn't feel good. It doesn't really... Um, sit well with me, um, but the core gameplay itself is so good that I can, um, and I still want to, you know, I, I played the game, I bought the game, I played the game, and I just ignore all of those in-app purchases because I consider them cheating and I want to play the game itself. And I don't know if this is just me having played Bloons in a while, but this game definitely seems a lot harder to me than the older games. I'm not 100% why, um, but it just feels that way. But overall, what they did, if you played Bloons Star Defense 5 and you kind of know how it works, um, you know, sit with me for a little bit because I'm just going to explain a tiny bit, but it is a tower defense game. It's, in my opinion, one of the best tower defense franchises um, ever. Um, you know, and I've tried a lot of them. And there's a bunch of different, um, you know, monkeys and, you know, different towers and stuff like that. And they all have, in 5, they all had two different unique paths. And you could upgrade a little bit in both, but then once you got far enough in one path, like, there were, like, I think four or five. Once you hit, like, the third, you couldn't upgrade past, like, the second on the other path or whatever. Um, and there were maps of different difficulties. You play them on easy, medium, hard. There was all these other stuff, um, like Unpoppable, which is even harder and stuff like that. And uh, Bloons Star Defense 6 adds a lot. Um, first of all, every single tower has three upgrade paths, which you can only go in at two at a time, but it makes it really unique because I might have, say, two... Um, wizard monkeys because and have them completely different upgrade paths for different purposes um, and it adds a lot more strategy to the game um, because you know there's more options and stuff like that and I really like that um, the other thing it does is it adds like line of sight so be, there's like this game's kind of like 3d ish there's a lot of 3d models and so some of the maps will have like in the gameplay you're seeing that like windmill that is actually blocking um like line of sight so if you were to place something like behind it it couldn't see through the windmill um and so a lot of maps incorporate that kind of stuff um which adds for a lot more strategy because you know you can't just put everything where you want to put them the map's kind of forcing you um to think about where you're putting them in relation to those because of line of sight so that's really cool and the other really big feature they added was um, heroes. So there's four different heroes right now at the beginning of the game. You know, after like two hours of gameplay, you unlock them all or whatever. 
And um, pretty much how they work is they're a normal tower. They cost like you know pretty cheap relatively. Um, about little more. They're about like 750 in game. Where like bomb towers are like 650. Super monkeys are like 2250. You know around there. Um, and when you place them, um, they overall start leveling up. So there's like 20 levels, um, it's either 20 or 30, I can't remember, levels that they level up through experience that they get in-game. So once you go to a new game, it, that, like, that progress doesn't carry over, it's per game. Um, and you can buy, you know, with the money you would buy on towers to level them up faster, but pretty much you're just putting it down and you probably want to put it down as soon as possible. That way it has the most uh, time to level up and they all have like an active ability and stuff, but they get better and better and better. And there's four different ones. Um, so the one I'm using in this is like, I think called Quincy and it's like a bow and arrow one, but it's pretty cool because it can, uh, once it levels up a little bit, detect camo and lead. So, um, that's pretty nice. So that adds a lot of strategy because, um, you know, picking which hero for which map and for what strategies you're trying to do adds a lot. And that's really, really cool. Um, and overall it is, um, just as, you know, I'm having even more fun than Bloons Out Defense 5 because there's just more variety with the m multitude of upgrades and, um, all this stuff. The game, I at first didn't really like the, like, 3D models, how they looked, but, I mean, it's kind of grown on me a bit. Overall, I, um, one thing that I do want to say as well is in Bloons Out Defense 5, there was a thing called the Monkey Lab, which you earned, like, these tokens, um, for like beating a map you would earn a token for beating a map on easy earn a token for beating it on medium and then hard and you could use them for just simple passives like oh make um, you could spend one token to make um, permanently all of your towers attack a tiny bit little faster or have a tiny bit more range or stuff like that and they would get like you know first upgrade was cost one token then it would cost two tokens then three tokens or four t you know it would get exponentially um, more expensive and in this game it doesn't have the monkey lab instead it has once you get to level 30 um, and I'll show it a little bit here there's like a tome kind of skill tree so there's all these different skill trees and every time you would level up past 30 you get like a tome and uh, you can use it to put something in the perk tree so I just started leveling up all of everything in the hero so you know they attack faster longer range I think they start at level 3 instead of level 1 so that's really nice boost and stuff like that um, and they like have reduced cooldowns at level 20 or stuff but there's all of this kind of stuff and obviously you can buy a tome for like a dollar each or something like that if you want but obviously I'm not gonna ever do that it's just kind of something to grind for and slowly get better but I really like this a lot better than the monkey lab but um, overall I you know not a whole lot to talk about this game especially if you already know what Bloom Set Defense 5 is um, and you played it a little bit um, you know they have made a lot of awesome changes and that's really great but there's not a whole a whole lot to talk about um, because it still is Bloons Tower Defense um, you know it's a very fresh take on Bloons Tower Defense but it is just that um, so overall that's kind of all I wanted to say about it the microtransactions are still a little scummy especially when the game cost five dollars um, but overall if you ignore it um, you can still have a lot of fun which is what I'm doing I'm not even using the like I said you know the powers that they're giving me for free or anything but um yeah that's that's overall my my opinions on uh bloons tower defense 6 um i'd love to hear your guys opinions if you guys have personally played it i know it's only been out for a couple days so um chances are you might not even know it's out but it is out and i would highly recommend you to get it if you like tower defense games because it's pretty fun um, and yeah, but let me know in the comments down below if you have played it or if you played the older ones and what you guys' thoughts were on it because part of the fun of making these videos is not only talking at you guys but the conversation that comes afterwards. And uh, like always guys, if you guys enjoyed this video then consider leaving a like down below and subscribing to see more content and news. New videos come out every uh, Wednesday and Sunday and I hope you guys are having a great rest of the day and see you guys next time.